Good morning, my friends. Father Wynn here on Thursday, the 8th of October. My, the week is going fast. I've got my Peruvian coffee cup with me and I'm ready to pray morning prayer. Today, the church celebrates and remembers two very interesting pioneers in Christian socialism. Two words that I think is surprising to bring together for many people because socialism in many people's minds equals communism. But socialism has its roots in social compassion. And so these are not talking about necessarily a form of government, but a way of agape, of loving others, of sharing what we have from the abundance of God. The first person is William Dwight Porter Bliss, and the second person is Richard Theodore Ely. Uh, Bliss was a priest. He died on the 8th of October in 1926. Richard Theodore Ely was an economist who died on the 4th of October, 1943. Let's start with William Bliss. He became interested in Christian socialism. This movement sought to apply the teaching of Christ to modern social difficulties caused, they believed, by industrialization and urbanization. In 1889, Bliss organized the first Christian socialist society in the USA. He was also the editor of The Dawn, its magazine, he lectured extensively on labor and social reform. Richard Ely was an American economist and led uh, the progressive movement, which called for a more government intervention in order to reform the injustices of capitalism, especially regarding factory conditions, uh, compulsory education, child labor, and labor unions. He opposed the individualism he found troubling in capitalism, calling for an evolution to a higher stage of social conscience. He helped inspire and lead the social reform. Let's begin with our breathing. Take a few conscious breaths. And as you release your breath, feel yourself slowly sinking to a quiet center. And we'll begin on page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Psalm reading for this morning is Psalm 18, part 2, which begins with verse 21, and that's found on page 604. 
Psalm 18, beginning verse 21 on 604. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealings. Because my hands were clean, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes and his decrees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing, because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the faithful, you show yourself faithful, O God. With the forthright, you show yourself forthright. With the pure, you show yourself pure. But with the crooked, you are wily. You will save a lowly people but you will humble the haughty eyes. You, O Lord, are my lamp, my God. You make my darkness bright. With you, I will break down an enclosure. With the help of my God, I will scale any wall. As for God, his ways are perfect. The words of the Lord are tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The reading for this morning is Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 4. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The response will be Canticle 8, found on page 85. Canticle 8, the Song of Moses, the song which was built around the ancient words, I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted the horse and its rider, as he hurled into the sea. Those two couplets, because of the particular language, the form of the Hebrew, actually may come from the time of Moses when they crossed the Sea of Reeds, or as the Bible uh, in English describes it as the Red Sea, and uh, were saved from Pharaoh's army. And so began the new stage of history of God's people. Canticle 8. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. 
they sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your, mighty, with your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that you have established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on page 97, we'll say together the Our Father, followed by Suffrages A. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day. O God, whose Son Jesus came as servant to all, we thank you for William Bliss and Richard Ely, whose dedication to the common weal through economic justice led them to be bold reformers of the world and the church. And we pray that we with them may find our true happiness through self-sacrifice in service of your reign, where all the hungry are fed and the downtrodden are raised up. Through Jesus Christ, our liberator, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. A prayer for the morning found in the prayer book on page 461. This is another day, O Lord, I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Today in our prayers, we remember the homeless and working poor whom we will feed today and offer gro groceries. Uh, we pray for those who are struggling with unemployment, that they may be sustained in the midst of uncertainty. We pray for all hospital chaplains, especially Deb O'Neill Lewis, for military chaplains, especially Chandler, David, and Nigel. And we pray for those facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Hunter Benante, Catherine Blackwood, Francisco Bernardo, Ann Taylor Cahill, Will Chambers, Linda Cherry, Dana Coltran, Holly Cook, Rick Craig, Carol Davis, Terry Davis, 
Roy Dudley, Mary Earhart, Linda Erickson, Bernie Ham, Carrie Hughes, Tom Foyt, Dawn Fink, Lauren Henry, Julia and her family, James Malloy, Governor and Mrs. Northam, Langern Porter, Ruth Provost, Pat Rupel, Phyllis Sayers, Francis Smith, Mavis Stapleford, John Tanner, Dawn Tinkler, Priscilla Trinder Rohde, and Heidi Trumbull. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.